doom be doom be doom 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 wah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thor News Economic Doomland. Well, this changes things. Ha! Ah, economics, man. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to pick a subject that I can have a little fun with. So, of course, I chose economics. So get ready for some mish talk, bish. I am Thor, and I'll be your advisor this afternoon. And I advise you listen to what this man is telling you. Australia's Prime Minister and ex-Goldman Sachs banker warns G20 to civilize capitalism. Oh, hey, dude, that is a great idea. But that's almost like telling pharmaceutical companies now to stop farming human beings for money. Is it time to civilize capitalism? Question mark. Uh, that time is coming on, and technically, if you were following everything that happened in 2008, capitalism is dead, my friends. That's what Malcolm Turnbull says, Australia's Prime Minister. Well, he didn't say that capitalism was dead, he just said that the G20 need to get their shit together, or else. And they made a fist, like he was gonna punch him in the face, with high inflation. Nobody wants that. Turnbull was chairman and managing director of Goldman Sachs Australia, 1997 through 2001, and a partner with Goldman Sachs and Company, from 1998 to 2001. And Australia used to be a giant prison. And that's where Godzilla came from. So this is definitely one dude you'd not want to cross or mess with. He's probably got an entire island of Godzillas and Mothras. And I'm pretty sure Goldman Sachs has sunk quite a bit of money into R&D technology. They've got some Ultraman drones that'll kill you, man. All right, sorry. Malcolm Turnbull, Australia's Prime Minister, warned G20 of the need to civilize capitalism. Mish asks, why don't we try capitalism and free markets instead of quantitative easing and central bank manipulations of every asset class on the planet. Well, what you can do, Mish, gather everyone up at the table, get them all to sit down, and agree on a future plan that helps keep civilization from collapsing. That's a great idea. Because I don't know if you know this, it's a mathematical certainty that fiat currencies will explode in a hyperinflationary event unless the mythical actual credit freeze happens. So, seeing as how the dollar is on like its 44th fiat currency year after Nixon depegged it from gold in 1971, meaning it was backed by the full faith and confidence of the United States government, we got a problem. That shit's gonna collapse. The money's literally gonna catch on digital fire and explode. Bread's gonna be like $8,000. The streets will be slick with slaughter, and mothers will be bashing their babies' brains against brick walls to stop their hungry cries, lawlessness, rape, and murder everywhere. Because we wouldn't have been smart enough as a society to recognize, hey, we got a bill to pay or figure out before it gets here, or all hell breaks loose and violence becomes the currency of the day. I'm sure that's what you're talking about, I guess. Let's keep reading, shall we? Leaders of the world's 20 largest economies have been warned that they must civilize capitalism as they seek to revive economic growth and address growing public skepticism about the benefits of free trade and globalization. Oh, man, things have been so shit sandwiched with like a spike boot in the ass while getting yelled at in languages you don't even understand. I'm starting to think it's not globalization, but it's like solar systemization, where Mars is hitting us hard because there's no way humanity could be this mad at humanity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, that's my economic theory. I'm sticking to it, that Mars is doing this shit. Officials present, officials present during closed door sessions, said U.S. President Barack Obama, U.K. Prime Minister Theresa May, and her Australian and Canadian counterparts emphasize the need to placate public discontent. According to the officials, Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, a former Goldman Sachs banker, if I hadn't mentioned that enough, warned his peers of the need to civilize capitalism, or else all hell shall break loose. But I can pretty much almost guarantee you that most rich people don't want civilization to collapse. Uh... I definitely don't want civilization to collapse. One G20 official said there was a high degree of awareness among heads of government that globalization could be thrown into reverse. It has taken the rise of populists across the world for them to realize this, he said. If we, did, if we do not address the issue of fairness, it could endanger the global economy. Wait, what? If we do not address the issue of fairness, it could endanger the global economy. Wow. Before the two-day meeting, the U.S. government argued that a public bandwagon was growing to ditch austerity in favor of fiscal policy support. What? Before the two-day meeting, the U.S. government argued that a public bandwagon was growing to ditch austerity in favor of fiscal policy support. Yeah, I guess people were like, hey, if we had to choose between not eating and printing money, they're saying, hey, print money. And, um, I don't know that, none of that, make, that's not, what the hell? And I don't think the public has ever said the word fiscal in their life. You know, like, I don't even think anyone in the media has mentioned the national debt in like five years. So, 
Maybe the Germans are not absolutely cheering for it, but there is a growing awareness that fiscal space has to be used to a much greater extent, agreed Angel Ria, Secretary General of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. All right, every day we get closer to the end game. Maybe it'll be good. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. This article gave me the heebie-jeebies, and I don't even know why. I'm only burning my half. All you care about is money. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. Doom, 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 be doom, be doom, 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 wah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thor News Economic Doomland. This changes things. Ha! Ah, economics, man. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to pick a subject that I can have a little fun with. So, of course, I chose economics. So get ready for some mish talk, bish. I am Thor, and I'll be your advisor this afternoon. And I advise you listen to what this man is telling you. Australia's Prime Minister, an ex-Goldman Sachs banker, warns G20 to civilize.